car A and car B are 150 miles apart on a straight road. The two cars start to travel toward each other. Car A is going 60 miles an hour. Car B is going 45 miles an hour. When will they pass each other? This line represents the 150 miles. And we have car A going 60 miles per hour and car B going 45 miles per hour. Car A is going this way and car B is going this way. The distance formula is simple. Distance is equal to how fast you're going, your speed, times how long have you been traveling, your time. For example, if you're going 50 miles per hour and you've traveled for two hours, Simply multiply the two and you get 100 miles. You travel 100 miles. In our example, we have two cars with different speeds traveling toward each other. So what do we use for speed? Well, let's look at the problem this way. In one hour, car A will cover 60 miles. Car B will cover 45 miles. In one hour, the two cars travel a distance of 105 miles. If you travel 105 miles in one hour, you're going at 105 miles per hour. This is our relative speed. The relative speed helps us determine how quickly objects are approaching each other. In the context of two cars moving toward each other, the relative speed is the sum of the individual speed. We can take this number, plug this into the formula, and get the time when they will meet. Our distance is 150 miles. To get time alone, we're gonna divide 105 miles per hour on both sides. And this will cancel. This gives us approximately 1.43 hours. And this is our answer. The key point to take away from this distance speed time problem is that in the context of two cars moving toward each other, the relative speed is the sum of their individual speeds. And that's it for this problem. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, add a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.